Hello everyone and welcome to CryptoDex. What is the Project Berliner all about? Let's dive in and take a look. Hello everyone and welcome to Berliner. I'm super excited to jump into this project. This has a really cool intro animation, but before we get started, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research, due diligence, and don't invest in anything you're not willing to lose. So what's Berliner all about? Let's take a look. So we got some really cool artwork, but let's go over the story. In the year 2150, when an apocalypse wipes out all humanity from the earth, a zeppelin is spotted flying across the sky. Inside it, there is a man. He is from Berlin. The Berliner, a scientist, the only living human left. Inside his laboratory, he created humanoid chimpanzees, as we can see here, with genetic mutations of the most intelligent humans from around the world. He calls them the Berliner. And the Zeppelin carries hundreds of Berliner pods waiting to be activated. What's his ultimate goal? What caused the apocalypse? Where's the Zeppelin headed? We don't know. It is to be continued, but this is a very exciting project. And we can see the team is led by acclaimed 3D artist, as so we can see, this 3D art is rendered really cool. Love these glasses right here. This dude is rocking out in there, rocking some cool shades. And we can see all of the different people here. The founder is a professional dreamer, the marketing manager, and 3D artist, who is world-renowned. Founder and community manager and business advisor and marketing advisors. And they have entrepreneurs, technologists, illustrators, NFT enthusiasts, an advisory board consisting of seasoned professionals with a combined 60 year plus experience. This is awesome. So, if we take a look at the manifesto, they want to be different. They're misfits, they're rebels, they're out here to make a name for themselves, create a noise in the space, and do something amazing. They believe that the creator economy and Web 3.0 is for everyone. They're here to break barriers to new frontiers and invite the untapped majority to join them. So, will you join them? What will you do? This is really exciting. We can check out some of the information here in the white paper. We can see the beginning, which has the story, the project 1.0, which is backed by hard assets, and this will involve NFTs. That'll be the key driver, and their plan is to establish a U.S.-based holding company so they can actually build an ecosystem via smart contracts, immutable ledger of ownership, and probability royalties. With fashion, cosmetic, hospitality, entertainment, building, and connecting to the metaverse, tokenomics to capture the economy of the creators and creating subsidiaries. And that way they're changing the way the world lives, the way it plays and interacts. There's also the island, which you can take a look at, the Fable Island of Ambia's Archipelago, a collection of 2,000 or 200 small islands in the South China Sea. And it's strategically located and it's highly accessible by yachts and friendly immigration regulation for different yachts in the Ambos Archipelago is 130 nautical miles from Tomia, Malaysia. So this is really interesting itself to see where this is actually going down. It's a tropical getaway and it's a great place. They're not only going to create assets for the metaverse, but actual physical assets. And they're inviting all the NFT holders for Berliner to collaborate and create a sustainable, eco-friendly and modular design resort. They also have their roadmap, where they have their white paper done, initial marketing push, the contract and auditing, the contract and team know your customer. They're going to get some listing on decentralized exchanges and central exchanges. Then the second stage is partnerships, marketing, AMAs, trends, ads on sport events, issues with the Berliner NFT and the club and market capitalization. After that's done, they get collaborative merchandise with well-known artists and brands. They commit to build a beachfront resort and reveal the front design, ongoing marketing in all major platforms, and 50 to 100 million market capitalization. They also have the legal disclaimer, which you can read in your own time. And they also talk about the different risks should you decide to buy their token for. They also have the tech here, so you can see all the smart contract, the NFT chain link, and the hash. You can take a look at the smart contract information here, the hash. And you can even get information about the coin right here. We can see the symbols Burr. It's on BSC. We can see the total supply, the pre-sale liquidity ecosystem team, and the listing right here 
So that gives you all the information. So that's Berliner in a nutshell. Let's check out some of the social media. And you can find them on Twitter at Berliner Coin. Their vision is to build an inclusive, supportive community by having accessible resources, accountability practices, and unlocking the creator economy via Web3. You can also visit their website from here, and you can see the backstory, which we talked about, all the cool intros and different things that they're doing. You can also get updates right here, so be sure to join their Twitter as it is growing in followers. It's a great place to actually get started. They have over 6,000 followers, 6,760 6, followers and growing. And last but not least, you can join their Telegram at Berliner. Their project is aiming to disrupt access and create utility in both the physical and virtual world. And we talked about the story. There's a lot of members and a lot of members online. You can talk to them about Berliner, different crypto practices, and get to know the community here. So this is a very interesting project. The backstory is really interesting, as well as what they're trying to do with the ecosystem. And I'm really excited for Berliner, but I'd love to know your thoughts. So if you enjoyed this review, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to know when post more videos. Also, if you got any questions or comments, let me know down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.